Hey everyone, so I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes look at the setup we got here because I know we've had many questions about, you know, how are we exactly doing this and what are some things we can do to improve. So I am going to start from the back. and let you see what's going on. We have my little work desk. I have the, uh, the YouTube channel up right now um, because that's how I know if everything is streaming right. Uh, I got my mic, my hymnal, my bulletin. And then if we squeeze by here, and you can see my phone right here. So this is how I record. So the phone is actually my camera. So my phone will be right here on the desk. And as I, I'm sorry, I'm holding the camera, but my, so I'll take tight shots wide shots and then so yeah the phone is everything and I'll just keep using it to see what I'm looking at but we have here our very high-tech speaker system amp system um, because unfortunately in order to get pastor on microphone we can only have one line plugged into the uh, soundboard so that we can isolate his sound so he is on that top system right there and if we go back and follow it we also have our ethernet cable that we are directly plugged into now so that we make sure we have the best um, streaming capabilities but yeah so pastor's mic right here just gets plugged into the headphone jack and then that gets isolated and that is why we can now hear pastor so clear instead of just booming echoey which i'm guessing i sound kind of like right now but i am right by the camera which is where the sound goes into which is why here we have my amp which uh, is just a guitar amp, but we plugged that standing mic into so that now you guys can try to hear me. And believe it or not, uh, where that is situated is turned up nearly as high as it can be. So for those who are wondering about that, the organ just still um, overpowers it. But so here we have our camera stand set up um, so yeah that's my setup and also because of the um, lens or whatever uh, we've been getting questions about the screens and how can we use the screens isolate on the screen um, you'll see right here you can see the uh, the picture as uh, it's boxed in that's as tight as it can go so that is as tight as it can go and also just the, uh, the amount of um, light that is projected off of the screen when we have it on, even when we have our normal um, black screen with the white words, it is so bright that it looks light blue. It looks sky blue and then the white is just blindingly brilliant white. Um, so really there's no way to utilize the screens with uh, this camera setup that we have. Now, maybe down the road it takes getting a um, m better camera, but also um, just trying to let you know how close the camera actually has to be to get the picture you're seeing. Um, I mean, I am in the third row, quite literally in the third row, and that's about as close as we can get where we can still get everything in the shot as far as the pulpit the altar and the lectern and fortunately we get to see jacob too 
So um, that is just a little bit of the behind the scenes of what we're doing here at, uh, at Good Shepherd. And hopefully you understand, you know, all that we're putting into this and trying to make everything as good as we possibly can for you guys who are at home. Um, so please just bear with us. And again, if you do have some constructive comments, uh, we'd be happy to hear them. We're always looking at making it better. Um, but thank you so much. And we hope that you will join us for the Monday Thursday service at 630, the Good Friday service at 630, and then the Easter morning service at 930 on Sunday. Uh, look forward to seeing you all there as I see you on my computer as far as views. So uh, thank you all so much and have a good day. Bye.